The Jump on NBA.com presented by Sprint. Dennis Scott, Brent Barry, Sekou Smith is in the corner at least for now. And Jared Greenberg <laughs> with you as we get you set for the Spurs and the Heat coming up later on tonight. It is fan night. It's only appropriate to bring in one of the biggest super fans in all of the NBA. Clipper Dowles. Love the Clips for a really long time. Been there through the struggles and but now is just rejoicing because... They have won three straight, and we bring in Clipper Dow to break down CP3 and Lob City out there in L.A. Thanks for joining us, buddy. How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling so good, man. <laughs> you know, I don't drink nor smoke, but I'm so high right now, and I'm not coming down till June, baby. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Daryl, with that, are you, you're throwing out a June prediction already for the Clippers, huh, Daryl? Oh, yeah, baby. All right. Well, we I can ask actually you about say last that night. C word. I want to ask you about last night. You're coming out of the Staples Center, Clips with a big win over the New Jersey Nets, and uh, TNT's got their set out there. And uh, Shaquille O'Neal, you got a chance to see him, and he had a few choice words for you, did he not? Oh, yeah, man. You know, Shaq, Shaq, Shaq's a great guy, man. And you what know. did he, uh, did he actually sing the uh, U-G-L-Y to you? He sure did. He said, U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you ugly. And then he, hit, <laughs> then he ended it with a high five, man. It was beautiful. Hey, Daryl, being a Clipper fan for so many years, when you want to put on a jersey, are you putting on a CP3 jersey or a must-see BG? What's the number one jersey in your closet? Oh, you know what? I, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't wear current players' jerseys. You got to be retired. You got to be off the team, and and you know, to show love. I don't. I don't want to show no favoritism. As long as you put on that red, white, and blue uniform, I got love for you. So, how, how many Brent Barry jerseys do you have? Well, I got plenty of those, man. <laughs> with my man, <laughs> slam dunk champion, baby. Hey, baby, Clipper Daryl. That's why I love you. Hey, Daryl, what's the <laughs> the atmosphere like out there now in L.A. for the Clippers fans? I mean, I know for years they've had to walk around kind of you know, turning their heads a little bit. What's it like now? What's it been like since CP3 joined that operation? Man, it feels so good, man. Wherever you walk now, man, they're praising guys. I'm getting so many phone calls for tickets now. I can't get no tickets because we sold out. I mean, it's a beautiful thing, man, what, what, uh, what CP3, CP3 has brought to this organization, man, and this, and this franchise and, and to the fans of L.A., man. I think it's a new term right now. Well, there's no doubt about it, Daryl, and certainly you reflect so much enthusiasm for that franchise and for that team. I want to ask you, in your opinion, watching this team for as long as you have and through the early part of this season, what's one thing that you think the Clippers really could use for them to become an elite team this year? We got it. You can... This is the team. <laughs> this baby. is it. it. This is it, baby. This is the best clip. We got five all-stars on this team, Okay. Baby, this is taking us to the promised land, baby. The Laker era is over. It's Clipper time. <laughs> hey, Daryl, who's, who's been the one guy out of the group that surprised you the most? Has it been DeAndre Jordan or has it been one of these other guys who stepped up and played at a high level? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say Mo Williams because, the, the, you know, he's been a starter all his life. So it is all his career to, to come in and be the sixth man. Man, I'm so proud of him that he's, he's taking in that role right now. Well, uh, Clipper Dow, you know, with the expectations, the bar obviously being set so high by you, uh, is there now some sort of rivalry between you and some of the celebrities that go to all these Laker games? Are they trying to hop on your bus? Hey, I heard Jack Nicholson was at the game yesterday afternoon. <laughs> all right. So I don't, you, hey, I don't know, man, you know. All right, well, we'll keep you away from Jack Nicholson for the time being, all right? <laughs> Hey, hey, but you know what my biggest dream is? My biggest dream is to sit next to Jack at a Laker Clipper game and Spike Lee at a New York Knicks game, man. Well, you know, hey. you could have the opportunity next week, right? Couldn't you get it done oh, next yeah, week on definitely. the 25th? And we'll, oh, see yeah. it. we'll see it right here on NBA TV between That's the right. Lakers and the Clippers. All right, Clipper Dow, great job really, by man. you. Thanks. Thanks so much for joining us. And uh, this is the, the big one that everybody's looking forward to, round two. Clippers, Lakers on January 25th. Before that, we'll get you the Pacers and the Bulls right here on NBA TV. Good job by Clipper Dow there, huh? Nothing like a true, true fan. Red, white, and blue. Go ahead, Daryl. <laughs>